Me and my girlfriend are in our early 20s, and she's the first girlfriend I've ever had. We started seeing each other this past summer, about eight, nine months ago, and we connected really fast and everything sort of clicked with her, to the point where she asked me a month into dating to be his boyfriend, but I decided to wait a bit more. So, about a month and a half after we started dating, she tells me she wants to expand her social circle. For context, she's been suffering from depression and some mental health issues for years, along with a bad family situation and a really nasty experience with a friend with benefits before me. So in turn, she only hangs out with her best female friend and occasionally with her best friend's group, and here and there with a couple of guys she knows since many years ago. She's currently not working nor studying, and she used to spend a lot of time in her house with the computer. I understood her desire to meet new people and friends, so I try helping her with ideas. However, she seems very fixed into creating an account on a dating app she used to use a year ago or so to hook up with guys. She insists she likes me and wants to be with me, that she will make it very clear in her profile she's only interested in friendship and is already seeing someone, and she's only trying to know friends, male or female, and assures me she won't let anything else happen. I was hesitant, but in the end she convinced me and I said okay, even though I wasn't entirely comfortable, I know I know it was a stupid decision. So she creates the profile, and we continue dating for a while. And during this time, she occasionally sent me screenshots of guys who tried to hit on her while she laughed at them. I was still not entirely comfortable with that, but I decided to wait and see what happened. Then another month goes by, and we are still very much close. Everything is going great, and we like each other a lot. But suddenly, she tells me that she's been chatting with this guy for a week, and he seems like a good guy without bad intentions, and she's going to meet him in real life that night. I was caught off guard by that, and I just said, OK. And the next day, she told me about how the meeting went, and how much of a good time she had with him, and that he found a buddy to smoke weed here and there. She smokes weed once or twice a week, but I don't. She also reassured me that she didn't feel anything for him, and she was happy she made a new friend. Fast forward a week, and in the middle of a conversation, I ask her about this guy, and she says, he just disappeared after meeting her IL, and she was now chatting with a couple of other guys. That was the point when I couldn't hold it anymore, and told her I really wasn't comfortable with her talking to other men on a dating app, even if it was just to make friends. I told her that I feel disrespected, and that it's not an appropriate thing to do if you are starting a possible relationship with someone already, and that there are other ways to make friends. She agreed with me, apologised, and decided to delete the app for good, and we went back to normal. About a month and a half later of having an amazing time together, we become an official couple, and things look great. Fast forward to two months of relationship, and the guy she met in person suddenly talks to her again. And according to her, he told her he ghosted her because he didn't want to create issues between me and her, and that he likes her a lot. I said, OK, at least this guy was honourable instead, of being a piece of shit, and I'm ready to move on and leave this topic behind, but... She tells me she wants to meet with him again, just to hang out. She had already established a date with him before telling me even. I was so surprised and disappointed, because I thought she understood that this whole ordeal made me uncomfortable, including the fact that she already met someone. I explained to her that, again, 
I thought it was inappropriate, especially because the guy likes her. And she agreed again, and said she thought if she already had a friend that she could keep seeing him, and she didn't realise about the importance of this. In any case, the guy ghosted her again, so we forgot about that. Now, three months later, with things going on great again, she brings back the topic of meeting new people. I start giving her options and ideas, going to bars with me, hanging out with my friends, joining Facebook groups, etc. But she wants to get back on the dating app again. She assures me this time it's going to be harder to meet someone in person, that she's not going to put a profile picture that she's going to be more careful, etc. But this time I didn't believe her. I already had enough of it. So a couple days later, after thinking about it, I broke up with her because I felt there was something about this whole ordeal she was hiding from me and I couldn't trust her anymore. So we talk again after some days of sadness and crying and I ended up asking her a question. If you had met with that first guy in real life, but you were single, would you have become more than friends? Her reply, yes, but it's not a big deal, because I didn't do anything since I was with you. Turns out she liked the guy, who also liked her, and wanted to keep having dates with him while she was my girlfriend. Not only that, but after I told her how I felt all those months ago, she brought the same thing back and wanted to start. It all over again. And she also lied to me when she said he was going to be only a friend. So after reading that, I stopped feeling bad altogether. I told her goodbye and blocked her from everything. Moral of the story. If your gut feeling tells you something ain't right, listen to it. Don't be afraid to speak up and value yourself before others. Also, this girl is nuts. Sorry for this. Move on for your own sanity. I think she needs to experience life and get a handle on her issues before finding a lifelong partner to be with. When your girlfriend is trying to meet up guys from a dating app that is one giant red flag and not acceptable behaviour in my eyes. Those guys want sex or a girlfriend. Letting her go is the best thing you could have done.